And welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there. For some more sub battle stream, we're in part three now. If you haven't seen parts one and two, hope you all check those out as well, especially part one, I'll kind of describe better what we're doing here. But basically, short story is I'm playing against subscribers all day. We're having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm playing a different deck every round, spinning the wheel and seeing what I'm playing each round. So we're gonna determine who's gonna be the next person to play. So let's go ahead, everybody in chat's here, ready to go. So let's see who is up. JJ Fire. All right, JJ. You are gonna be our next person to battle. So go ahead and give me your game, send me your gamer tag. Um, there's my gamer tag for you to copy paste. All right, let's see what deck I'm gonna be playing up next. JJ Fire. I like that name. I've known a lot of JJs just, you know, in life. And basically every person named JJ has been a really pleasant person to be around. That I've ever that I've ever met. I've liked every JJ. Alright, so I'm playing Elf Ramp. This is a little bit older deck. What's a sweet one? So let's see. Where is it at? Here we go. Elf Ramp. Yeah, J.J. Abrams. I liked a lot of J.J. Abram, Abrams' show. Uh, Alias was kind of a guilty pleasure of mine back in the day. All right, so we're just playing a whole bunch of elves and trying to ramp into, like, Finale of Devastation and do something cool with that. Or play, like, a huge crisis. Yep. Uh, there probably should be mass manipulations in this deck. As you can tell by all the harpooners for like mono blue and crushing canopies for like Nexus. It's a little bit of a old sideboard there, but that's all right. Uh, make sure we have best of three. Yep, best of three. Okay. <laughs> Jay Zwan, I need another Jay. Ooh, Ronus, yeah, Ronus could be a good card to have in here. All right, let's see what we got. I am the Eternal Army. That's the avatar that I'm picking. Because I'm the bad guy that Team Chat is all uh, joining up to try to defeat. So, JJ, make sure you're choosing best of three. You have to change the change that best of three, then coin flip. I'm going to try. I chose tournament. Oh, no, challenge match. Oh, so that's that's why there's a tournament thing. Oh, okay. So that's that was the problem earlier. We were kind of running into something where that's that's the thing. There's a tournament match. Okay. That's a new option there since the last time we did sub battle stream. Mana. More mana. It's weird they have to challenge you back. Well, that keeps like, you know, think about like subscribers, or sorry, sorry, streamers. I meant the word streamers. Think about like streamers. If you didn't have to challenge them back, um, you would have people just like, challenge streamers while they're playing a lot like they'd be annoying like stuff all the stuff would like pop up of like you're going to now play this match and things like that um I guess we're just going to incubation druid
So I have seven mana. Not quite. You know what, I'm just gonna actually just get attacking in. If I had if I had one more mana, like if the land werewolf would have stayed alive, I could have Oh, I can't I can't Clan Caller doesn't have Clan Caller has summoning sickness. I can't uh do what I was thinking anyway. Alright, well that's a good sign of no ritual of soot. So we are we are going on out here. Because if JJ Fire had ritual of soot. Would have just cast it last turn and killed my druid and the 5-4 instead of contempting. So I'm going going all out here. Our aggro elves. No sweep us, please. More clan callers. So yeah, you can pay six and search your library for another elvish clan caller put into play. That won't do it. Feel the heat of my your end has arrived. Dragons. I am ancient, and walk another beacon interloper. <laughs> Come on, listen to them roar. A dragon <clears throat> would rather die than lose. That, yeah, that, how the opponent emoted the word basic earlier, that happened, that's a bug with Sorcerer Spyglass. Like, whenever you play a Spyglass then the opponent just says something like that. Like, that's that's just a bug. All right, so we have a Grixis deck. Probably want all these negates and Disdainful Stroke against Grixis deck. And usually... I'm going to get rid of these Devastations. Usually, like, honestly, Clan Caller is the card that I cut in these kind of matchups. Because it's only good if you have, like, other, you know, to pump other elves kind of thing. All right, and two Harpooners over a Marwyn. And the other finale. Hey, Storm. Thanks for checking in. Uh, this specific deck list that we're playing right now... So I'm playing a different deck every single round. Some of these are kind of old. This this specific list is a little old, but... Um, I can help try to find it for you. Let's see. It's easiest to find them on the YouTube channel, honestly. And so I'm just, I'm just scrolling on the YouTube channel looking for it. And here it is. It's actually, it's not too hard to find him on there. So, there's the the video like the first whenever we played it on stream. I guess it was three weeks ago, and it has. If you go to the description there, you can find a link to the deck in the description. Link to the deck list. I don't think I'm supposed to hold up Disdainful Stroke instead of play Growth Chamber Guardian, but, you know, maybe this is like a Nicol Bolas the Ravager, and then I'll be like, man, I wish I would have held up Disdainful Stroke. But 
boo. <laughs> See, I'm basically never planning on holding up that disdainful stroke. Ritual sits like game ending. Not playing around it. I have not gotten any stained glass art cards yet from Popper. I have not gotten those yet. Is the first one after... Is the first one after three wins? I know I've I know I've won three times with that. I've, I played four matches, I won three of the four. Are we trading? We're trading. I feel like that means there's another Nicol Bolas the Ravager in my future. I hope not. Kefnet. Kefnet's good. Alright, so Ugin gets rid of Kefnet, but then Ugin dies to the zombie army. Um, yeah, Matthew... Oh no. Face us earlier. I think that's a tick up on the bolus. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking up there and getting rid of one of these resources. Together we will prevail. The land fights for us. Taking up on Bolus is just so nice of you know basically get get rid of a resource and draw a card. And that ensures that you're getting the Kefnet for the next turn. Fight on without me. Alright. Oh, I could have I could have Done the breeding pool and had negate. I didn't even think of that. I was thinking about like the <laughs> bolus thing that I was just talking about. Anyway, let's see. Uh, let's attack with this. Yep, that was my bad. Not doing the breeding pool. Just wasn't really even thinking. Just talking. Hmm. Well, that's that could cost me the game. We'll see if I find something to deal with the Kefnet. So I trade my Krasis. Krasis for their army plus get three damage in. And going to attacks before I'm activating incubation drill because I need to tap the island. To be able to adapt and still play the Steel Leaf Champion. Oh, no, no, 
ritual of soot. No ritual of soot. No, 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 no. Oh, so close. One land away. So close. Good game. Good games, JJ. GG's. <laughs> yeah, you just need that that extra land. I think the one thing JJ that I that I think that yeah, I think I think you had to uptick on Bolas. I think the that was the one thing you needed to do there that game was uptick Bolas because I have to get rid of one of my resources still, and you get that extra card, and then the next turn you would have had Kefnet plus the Bedevil. Yeah, that was that was one thing. Basically, I've taken on Bolas like all the time. Getting rid of resources is really important, like that. Because uh, basically, you minus to get rid of a resource, but you could have just plus got rid of a resource and had me draw a card and um, and have your Bolas have a lot of loyalty still. All right, if you are a subscriber, go ahead and type the word battle if you want to be next. If you have not played today yet and you want to be next. Go ahead and type that word battle. We'll see who will be up next. I started with 33 decks on the wheel. We've gone through 14 of them, so it's getting it's getting smaller and smaller. All right. Everybody in there? Last chance. Looks like about everybody's in there. All right. All right, we got Vincent for the winner. All right, Vincent, send me that gamer tag. Good luck, Vincent. Here's my gamer tag. Let's spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing. The Grixis League? The Grixis League. I haven't played a Grixis deck today. Yet. Okay. The Grixis League. So this deck was a donation deck that we played a few days ago. And this is what it looked like. It's basically a whole bunch of Grixis Planeswalkers. Um... And then, yeah, it has early removal spells, has some Elder Spells. All right, that's our deck list. Make sure you have the challenge, challenge match, best of three coin flip up there. <laughs> I love how everybody in chat's always cheering on everybody for, for team chat. I love it. It's, it's great. Anybody, anybody in here that's new to the sub battle stream, and if so, how are how are y'all liking it? If there's any new viewers here for sub battle streams, we do this every couple of weeks or so. Basically, whenever I hit uh, 15 sub goals, right now we're this is going to be my second. Uh, we've hit the second sub goal today so far. We're working towards the third with the five five more subscribers away from the third one. I can go update my my panel to show that we've had hit two so far now. Vincent, you there? Did you does this everything look look right, Vincent? Waiting for you to challenge. Thanks, Cambet, saying it's a great idea. Like what you're doing for the stream there. <laughs> I don't even play this game, but it looks cool. Ah. Oh. Oh, thanks, Nazine. 
Glad you're there. Cool. Cool. Lots of people like liking this. It's awesome. All right, there we go. Yeah, there are just crazy decks being played every round. That's that's the that's the fun thing. You don't have to like sit there and see the same deck every round. You know, we're playing. Uh, I'm playing a different deck every round. Chats bringing their sweet decks to the table too. <laughs> Nazine getting that gifted sub from Santa Gatsby. Santa in June, not July yet. All right, so that's sub number 16. So four away from their, our next goal. And there's always some weapon, weapons grade jank on sub battle days. True. I think we I think we have a Grixis mirror. We do have a Grixis mirror. Okay, so double thought erasure will take two of my cool cards. Um, I think I'm just gonna let that happen. And I'm just going to get rid of this Ravager. I'll find removal for Ravager. Yeah, no, we'll get rid of Ravager. Actually, I'm going to get rid of a Thought Erasure. Wow, that's a good draw. That's a good draw. Search Roscanta is perfect. Ugh, that will help me hit land drops. And it's a... It's a, you know, threat card, a big card advantage engine, I guess, that um, that Grixis has no, like, way to interact with. Nazine. That's a good name. Oh no, Vincent Vincent's game messed up here. Alright, watch a reset here. Vincent Vincent said his game messed up. All right, restart. <laughs> Doesn't count as a chat win. <laughs> That's a chat win. Chat win. 100% chat win. <laughs> Bro, dude, I probably recommend I'd recommend whatever deck you're the most comfortable with, but I think for your best chance of winning would probably be the four color dread horde or the esper mid range most likely all right so vincent so yeah you can restart try again okay here we go All right, did this? No, that's 1080. Okay, it just looked really sharp for 1080. <laughs> yeah, I think I was gonna win that that game because uh, as Kanta, I think I had that one. But that's okay. Ah, all right, here we go. Sorry, I had to silence the phone there. Gruel with Immortal Sun. I do really like Immortal Sun. The problem, of course, is like hitting all your land drops, getting, you know, getting there with the Gruel deck there. Um, but I think if you can, if you can cast it, it's worth it. Honestly, I don't know if that's better. I think Gruel has some just awesome Planeswalkers. Like I think that Domri, Chandra. And then uh, Nissa and Sarkin are all awesome. And like not playing all those cards just to play Planeswalk or to play Immortal Sun. 
I kind of don't think it's worth it. I need more water. Well, now we're going to lose. <laughs> Vincent has those canton now. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, you'd still definitely want to play Domri still <clears throat> with a Mortal Sun, absolutely. Hmm. I do not want to mill my opponent that has Ascanta. Don't want to mill there. Alright, that's fine. Gain a life. That's right, don't forget that trigger. I am one again. Conceivable. <laughs> what are we getting rid of? A lava no coil. Weakness I cannot exploit. Hey. Dead Sandstorm. Red aggro is really good. Yeah, noth nothing wrong with some, some good old red, ag red aggro. If I were you, that art on Liliana is just so sweet. <laughs> Rise and shine. Get this house can't out of here. Yeah, there's Liliana. No. I am a god once again. Remember in the story whenever Nicol Bolas killed Liliana? That was in the story, right? Oh, wow, not killing Liliana? But wait. Vincent knows about this elder spell in hand. Now I get to elder spell. I can minus 9 this. Is that even is that worth it to minus nine? So basically I could sacrifice my Liliana to destroy four lands. Is that even worth it? It is risky to hold it. All right, we'll we'll do the quad stone rain, and just we need to top deck something else now. All right, well Vincent packs it up. Yeah, yeah, like Vincent could have won that still, because as Kanta flips there, so it still has two lands, and I just have a two two. It was definitely not over. All right, the cast downs are going to go. Bringing in Kasmina. And Negates. And Duress. I don't know, Enter God Eternals was pretty sweet there. Oh, well. Uh, it's in July. I think it's like July 
like seventh or fourteenth, like some somewhere around that area, is whenever Corset 2020 will be releasing. So that's July 12th. So just next month. So in one month and eleven days. This deck has lots of Planeswalkers. That's why it's called the Grixis League. Which makes it pretty good in like these Grixis mirrors, because you know I don't have nearly as many like cheap spells to kill things. Yeah, core sets are usually built around like some they're usually built with like some. This is definitely a gate. I want a discovery. Sorry, some reprints, some new cards, and they're built around the idea of really making, like, of, like, holding standard together with, like, the, the glue. It's the glue that holds standard together. So, like, whatever kind of holes are in all of the other sets, like, cards that they wanted to print in other sets uh, but didn't really fit the, like, didn't really fit the, the specific planes from the other sets, like couldn't really find any any place there. They can just print any cards they want in the core sets. Um, so yeah, they, even though you know they don't fit like the storyline or like you're like, well, you know this card wouldn't really appear on you know Ravnica. They can still print it. So yeah, they print the the safety valves. Yeah, too. Um, help keep in check whatever they need to keep in check so i am i am expecting there to be some good anti-planeswalker cards or good cards that reward you for not playing planeswalkers like you know one or the other there like that kind of stuff i guess i keep ravager I wanted to find Angrass Rampage here, of course. This just gives me something to do next turn. I think it's better just to keep this for next turn than than ditch it in and have like my my next card be. I guess it's a one in fifteen chance, three out of forty five. So you're looking at like a, a you know a little bit more than a five percent chance that we would have just hit Angrass Rampage there. It's better just to have to make sure we have a play next turn. Uh, yes, Luna, I stream each and every day. I don't I don't go to events anymore. Um, that's what I do for income. It's going to events is really expensive. Uh. What do you think of the new Tron? It's a lot of fun to play, like the mono green Tron in standard, if that's what you're talking about. If you're talking about the the new Tron in modern with, you know, new Karn and everything, um, not as big a fan of that. No. All right, so we'll play... Uh, do I want a Liliana minus or Ugin minus? I'm not a big fan of like the the Karn and Lattice combo of just like shutting out of the game. It's not really an enjoyable experience. You go Liliana because Ugin can kill a Planeswalker. It's like because like if I go Liliana minus and then Vincent Vincent goes or like let's say I would have gone Ugin minus then Vincent goes plays Nicol Bolas and Nicol Bolas kill my Ugin then I just can't deal with the Nicol Bolas so I'm gonna go with the Liliana here so that if there's a Nicol Bolas kill Liliana we still have Ugin to kill Bolas.
Well, good thing good thing is that's my nickel bolus. Good help is easy to find in war. Let's negate here. No, nah, it was negate. Dang it. Should have played the bolus. Dang it, should have played the bolus. Just did turn five Druidic Val for five, pulled Lyra and four other legends. That is that is legendary. That is awesome. Another negate. So good news is we get to we get to flip our bolus, but Vincent does not get to flip his. So I don't have to really worry about the 4-4 four, four too much, honestly. And yes, I'm gonna let I'm just gonna let the nickel bowls kill my planeswalker. I really hope Vincent doesn't actually flip the nickel bolus. Because this says this says exile it and then exile it completely, then return it transformed under its owner's control. I own the card. So this would be a, a big mistake. I'm I'm feeling like feeling like Vincent's is thinking about doing it and please don't <laughs> i hope because it's yeah because it's my bolus that they got that vincent got from a thief of sanity no Kneel before your that's a mistake God. you make exactly once <laughs> That's a mistake you'll make exactly once. Yep, that's that's one. We'll make that one again. So never, never do that. Never flip your opponent's bolus. Good, good lesson though. Good lesson. <laughs> it's all good, G Vincent. GGS. Whoops. Lessons learned. All right. Yeah, not stream sniping confirmed. Yep. Um, all right, who will be our next subscriber to battle? Yeah, you didn't know that? You, yeah, you learned it there? So yeah, I'm sure Yeah, I'm sure that helps some people to learn that. So yeah, if you're a subscriber, you want to be next up? Man, we got lots of people in here. Fish in a spacesuit. Wow. That's very descriptive. Well, thank you so much for that sub there, Fish. I hope you are enjoying your spacesuit that you were walking around in. Are you walking around uh, like downtown LA, chilling with your spacesuit on? <laughs> for I would have, I hundred percent would have done that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people in chat are saying that they would have learned from that mistake there. <clears throat> uh, I don't know, Savadu. I guess it just does. Uh -huh, thanks, Fish in a Spacesuit. All right, so let's see who's up next to battle. Got about an hour and a half left in the stream tonight. Boot, already fa Boot, you already played. <laughs> All right, redo. Dirk. Yeah, only only one time per per stream to try to get as many people as we can in here. <laughs> All right. Dirk is ready to go. What deck am I playing? Rakdos Zombies. That's a sweet one. This was a Yud special here. Uh. 
All right, so let's see. Where's Recto Zombies? All right, here's our deck for people. If you need my gamer tag, Dirk, there it is. So this is like a 22 land deck or 23 land deck, something like that. What do we have? I know it's not many. I remember that. Uh, 8, 13, 22. Did I do that math right? Yeah, 22. Yeah, we have six drops. But it honestly kind of worked. Like, surprisingly, it worked. We could play our, our six drops in the 22 land deck. I don't know how, but it did. So there we go. Got this nice, basic sideboard. We're going to zombie it up. The apocalypse. <laughs> You're amazing, Jelly Tug. First person here. Exactly three. That's an easy mulligan. And that's a keep. I went with the uh, pointy things, yeah, pointy buildings moving up uh, basic lands. I don't know. Are these things traveling up? They look like they're traveling up. But can anybody actually confirm that? Correct. There's no paper hearthstone. As far as I know. Is it has a space program? What? I didn't know there was a Ravnica space program. What do they do? Are other planes in outer space? There's like not space stuff in in magic. You know, like we've never been to like a space plane. They never do space stuff. Uh spending money. That's how I got all the special art cards. Spent lots of money, too much money. But at least I'm writing it off on my taxes cuz my business. <laughs> that tickled. Hmm. Feels like a frilled mystic here. Definitely think this is frilled mystic. And or I don't actually want to play anything. We already have a two-turn clock. I did last year, I crack. I, I don't know if I actually will this year. Most likely will not this year. I've weathered tougher storms than you. I've weathered tougher storms. So, um, if I go Death Baron, have to block. I guess it's just Judith. No, because Judith, Judith just deals five. They both deal five. But this kills Oketra. Because you have to block the 4-4. Four, four. And so that, that'll kill Oketra. If I play Judith, because Judith doesn't trigger on the token. So I would have just dealt five and wouldn't have dealt the one extra damage. Because the, the token would have just died. It would have just been a 4-3 and died. And they would have kept Oketra. Mm 
All right, so this should be game. Wait, no, they can block everything. Well, that's game. They all have death touch. Well, that doesn't have death touch. These have like death touch plus Judith trigger. The Gruel built a state-of-the-art rocket ship, except instead of a spaceship, it's just a large stick, and they're beating you over the head with it. <laughs> state-of-the-art, though. State of the art. <laughs> so they can make you see stars. <laughs> that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make you see stars. Gotcha. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. So we want these widespread brutalities. And I think that's all that I want. Um, I think that's all that I want. I mean, I... I probably need like the devil for Oketra. I don't really think I'm winning a long game though. Can I cut Liliana's? Invasion's pretty slow, too. I'm going to trim one of those. <laughs> yeah, it'll automatically apply the styles again after this. The, the, yeah, the apply styles thing was just for the sideboard in there. See, the styles are back. This deck's pretty cool. I bought card sleeves and I keep forgetting to put them on. No. The Butcher. There's so many, like, TV characters or book characters that are just named The Butcher. I don't even know how many. It's just, like, all of them. Yeah, Dirk's missing missing land drops, unfortunately, here. I'm not sure. So what it... I don't think Dirk should have kept the hand, most likely. So what what could you possibly keep that you have, like, your two cars, you don't have another land drop? You don't have, like, you know, don't have the third land, but there's no mana creatures? Like, Bantex are usually, like, wanting a whole lot of mana creatures, right? So it's like, don't we need to keep a hand with mana creatures? I know my responsibility. Yeah, Bill the Butcher from Gangs in New York. Here we go. That's what, that's actually what I was thinking of there. Get the invasion out there. It's only a matter of time. I'm a butcher. No. Yeah, my, my William Cutting is gone. So four, five, six, seven, eight. I 
I don't think Bant can get out of this. I mean, planes settle the wreckage. All right. GG's there. Dirk, sorry for that game three or game two hand. There, GG's. Okay, let's see who is up next. We'll keep this the sub battle stream going. So if you want, would like to be up next, type battle into the chat there for you know for subscribers. Oh well, there, D Mizzle with that support. Thank you so much there, D Mizzle. And we are two subscribers now away from doing our or getting another goal towards the next sub battle stream also. Thanks, D Mizzle. <laughs> Sorry, Dragoth, just just the uh, current ones. <laughs> That's a cool little symbol you have there, though. H1Z1. I don't know what that is. That's a cool little thing there. Cool. J Jack got in there. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry for that last hand there, Dirk. What What'd you keep there? It seemed like. Didn't seem like the should have been keep there. Uh, no, I haven't lost the sub battle day yet. Only had three. This is only the third one so far. Fourth one, third or fourth. Um, I was gonna do so. I, I am doing like if I do lose the sub battle, then I do a 12 hour stream the next day. Fourth one, yeah. This is the third one going up on YouTube now. All right, here we go. Disposable Hero is up next. Disposable Hero was the very first person to type battle this time. Don't have any deck text to do today, Return of Rock. Um, all right, where's my gamer tag? There's mine. Let's see. Okay, wheel time. All right, what deck are we playing next? It still seems like there are so many decks here. I've gotten rid of half of them, I guess. 16 out of 33. Naya Party Bus. Man, Naya Party Bus is sweet. So we played this just the other day. And we had one turn. We had a clip. Uh, it's in the Discord highlights. We had one clip that was just awesome with Ilharg putting in Lumbering Battlement. This this party bus deck is referring to Lumbering Battlement here because, as you see, the, the Battlement is just a huge party bus. So we had, like, the Ilharg put in the Battlement, and then Battlement, like, exiled, like, four Explore creatures, something like that, three or four Explore creatures, and then whenever Battlement returned back to our hand, then the all the Explore creatures came back in and just grew a bunch of Wild Growth Walkers. It was crazy. That's what our deck is. That's what it's trying to do. Yeah, Naya Feather is a good deck. Yep, that's a good deck. Before. <laughs> there you go, Weighty Cakes. Oh, uh, the deck that I would be playing right now, Cam Bet, would be Bant Arcbow. That's my deck of choice right now. If I was playing in a tournament today, that's what I'd be playing. Made a Bant variant of the Battlement deck way better with Spark Double Mirror Image. I like that. I like Spark Double with this deck. Yeah, I am all for some spark double. Oh, disposable hero, bring in the band Arcbow. Spark double mirror image. Yeah, that that sounds sweet. I can no longer stand by and watch. 
Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Doubt it. All right, blowing up arc bows. So next turn, I can either play Domri and Wild Growth Walker, or no, Wild Growth Walker and I Branch go. Walker. I think I want to do Domri so that like the next turn I could potentially Ravager Worm. You want our style? You got it. I don't know why the extra power matters, but now just what? kind of doing that. We won't answer the other kids. Rude. Hmm. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. Honestly, like this is this is honestly probably a waste of a, the Ravager Worm, because now I can't kill a Lyra Dawnbringer. I honestly I completely regret doing that. I wish I would have just arc bowed. Oh, that's that's when you're desperate right there. Hmm. I am messing up. I am messing up. I should have had Domri. I guess we're just gonna fight. Should have had Domri add mana for the arc bow. My wild beasts will bring your so what happens when you play, you know, this is going on six hours now, you start making some mis mistakes. And by you, I mean me. I bow to no one. I want Arcbow. I always want Arcbow to be five. I think in this deck, Jade Light should hopefully get another land. Well, it's not a land, but I can put that Phoenix into play. I think the card style rewards for this month are risk factor. I think one's risk factor, like the good one, and then there's like some bad card that, some unplayable card that I've never even heard of in my life is the other one. Whew. Really? Really? So we had Jade Light Ranger, and then Phoenix, and then Jade Light, Jade Light, Jade Light? Huh. That is odd. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Hmm. Yeah, Jade Light Party Bus. Sorry, I'm late. All right, do we hit a party bus? Party bus? Dang. Could put all the things on the party bus. No. 
I need my party bus. I was trying to save the Phoenix. S save ish, the Phoenix. I don't think I have haste creatures in here. <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at you. Yeah, no, nothing's actually good against Mono Red. <laughs> I'm, you know, just kidding with that, but but no, Mono Red is awesome. It's very, very strong. All right, so they are playing Bant Arcbow, which means Direfully Daredevil is not really going to be doing anything. We'll take that out. Um, let's get another Knight of Autumn. Some Clarion for all the mana creatures. Vivian kills the angels, which is important. The problem with Ixalan's binding is little to fairy. And honestly, I guess our opponent's going to have Knight of Autumns also. Yeah, they're going to have Knight of Autumns. Maybe I should just take out Arcbow. Is that a thing I should do? Nah. Ugh. Rally of Wings is the other one. Yeah, I, I'm still not convinced that's an actual card. Yeah, that's what somebody said yesterday. Rally of Wings. I've never seen that card before still. I don't know. What what set is that from this Rally of Wings card? One white instant untap all creatures you control. Creatures you control with flying get plus two plus two until end of turn. I kind of feel like that's like a, a planeswalker deck card or something. Like I'm not e I'm not even convinced that that's in standard. Or like a or like one of like the traditional sets at least. It's from War of the Spark. I'm not convinced it is. I did the we did the War of the Spark set review. I don't remember that card. We're shocking in there. It's like Oketra or something like that. Ooh, you think I'm just gonna let you pace me? So Domri's gonna make my creatures not be able What's to be that? countered. Smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Can't counter the Ilharg. Rawr. The pig! Oh no, the deputy! Uh, decline. The deputy pig. My Domri! No! 
Yeah, doesn't always work out how you want. All right, get my pig back. That should be it. Good thing we put in those clarions. Those clarions were so clutch. Wow, that was cool. That looks pretty cool. Man, I have just been getting really lucky today. Drawing really, really well. well I, I'm just, I use all my luck on the sub battle stream days instead of like, you know, like playing ranked tomorrow or whatever. <laughs> Pumba for the win. <laughs> I know, Zeal, I haven't. Too scared. Okay, make sure, you, there you go, J-Jack, make sure you go after the giveaway started there. All right, so if you're a subscriber, you want to be up next, type battle in there. Key! All right, first any weekday, okay. Really enjoy all your insights. So thank you so much, Key. Thanks for that donation deck. We'll do that first on Monday. I'll write you down here. Thank you so much for that donation, Key. All right, so... First Monday, write it down. Let's see what, what deck we got here. Nexus Free Jank. Hope you're doing okay, Storm. Um, it's a, oh no, it's a Reclamation deck. Oh no, I haven't played a reclama Reclamation deck ever. I guess it, it doesn't have... Um, doesn't have uh, Nexus though. There's the deck list, though. I'd put it in chat, though. Okay, you hate Nexus? See, I, I, I don't like Wilderness Reclamation. That's the card I don't like. The deck's just making a whole lot of mana and then casting... Big commence the end game, mass manipulation, all that kind of stuff. I could see it using a little bit more instant speed stuff, like more frilled mystics. Like I don't really like syncopate. Like I would I would just load up on frilled mystics, for example. Alright, anyway, let's see who's up next. Yeah, I'll take a look at that though, key. Be out. Take a look at it and and everything. Joy is up. So we got about an hour left, like yeah, basically right at one hour left here for the stream tonight. All right, let me run the spin the wheel. We are right now recording parts. Part three of the sub battle stream. Part one and two is already up on the YouTube channel. If you're a newer viewer here, you can see the YouTube channel there, youtube.com slash MTG. I put everything I, all the stream replays go up there. Okay, it's not very good for ranked, but you've been doing well with the leagues with it. Maybe you have too many counters and not enough removal. All right, let me spin the wheel, see what I'm playing. All right, Joey, send me that gamer tag. There's mine. Gruel midrange. Ooh. If there's anybody that can appreciate a good gruel deck, it's Joy. So 
So this Gruel midrange is the one we played last week with lots of Planeswalkers. That's what we got with main deck War Boss, Thorn Lieutenant. Try to be a little better against Little Teferi. All right, here we go. Okay. I need some of, but if I buy gems, what's the best way to get cards for decks? Just buy the relevant packs or draft, or is there another way? Those are the only two ways. Besides drafting, you can also play sealed. Um, I like sealed myself. Uh, I think that's what I would be doing. Um, is I would just I would just uh, buy packs and then do seal or buy gems and do sealed. However, that that gives you like basically like that's a that's a really good way to just get like the entirety of like War of the Spark the newest set and just get all of the cards in war of the spark however if you if you really just want like one deck or you know maybe two decks but like there's like the specific cards in mind that you want from like a lot of different sets and everything then buying booster packs and opening the booster packs of all the different sets that you want kind of like look at your deck list and see like where the majority of the rares are um the rares are really the important things to look instead of the mythics because uh, they're just not likely the open up mythics, but getting those packs, then you earn you earn wild cards as you uh, buy packs and get it that way. But yeah, if you're just trying to build your collection, especially you know like starting here with War of the Spark, getting this set, and then you know getting the next set and so on, uh, doing drafts and sealed is the most efficient way. I think so. Yeah. Joy, what's what's wrong with the uh, Joy? What's what's wrong with like one of these numbers or anything? Look at my screen. Tell me if there's anything wrong. With like, do you have any any numbers different anywhere on your screen? Mono black aggro. I'll see if I can find that for you. Did my internet stop? It's like it's frozen. Let me try resetting. You know, my game's like frozen or something. I'm going to reset mine because I haven't reset in a long time. Yeah, if you are good at drafting, then traditional traditional draft is the best. It's very uh, high risk, high reward, basically. You get, a, a, you get awesome rewards, but it is also high risk. Sealed is like really flat. Yeah, best of three coin flip in the challenge match. You're having server issues. Are there server are there server issues? Oh no, server issues. That's bad. That's not good. Hmm.
Hmm. But the person was asking about the. Yeah, that's what I have. Best of three coin flip. It's just not working. Person that was asking about the mono black deck list, I just put it in the chat. Mono black aggro. Yeah, challenge match, best of three, coin flip is what I have. Is the server down? It's been kicking you out to the menu after waiting, trying to queue for ranked. Everybody else, are you having issues with Arena? Need more feedback. All right, try. Whoops. Welcome to my humble home. Try tournament match. Okay, now it's working. Okay, you fixed it. Try again. Okay. All right, you fixed it over there, Joy. You're good. Okay, there we go. Got it working. Oh, <laughs> Joy with the mirror match. Gonna need two lands. Three, that's so many lands. We'll take it. Let me just check when I reset. Nope. Okay, yeah, it's 1080. All right, Joey's bringing the dinos. Slow that down. Gotta get rid of the mana creatures. Hmm. Don't feel so good about us winning this. I think we're pretty far behind here. Yep, can't get through that. I need a red source. Yeah, I need a red source. Okay, we're back in it. Now I don't feel so bad. Phoenix is quite strong. Raptors. That card's so good. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence now. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. So I don't think I want to... Uh, um, 
attack here because you know it could just be like a hasty carnage tyrant like coming back at me and just way too much damage kind of thing I don't think I'm ever gonna actually cast this war boss it's just unplayable against Ripjaw Raptor Domri Ripjaw Raptor is the dream. What's that? No this fight. Wait, that might be me. Huh. I was expecting fight Ripjaw, Ripjaw killed Thorn Lieutenant. Honestly. Yeah, it doesn't always work out how you want. Nothing but dust when All right, I'm so dead. no haste with that hunt master gone. <laughs> this plus one from Domri has been is so clutch right now, like with these growth chamber guardians. The thing is, is like. If Joyv would like attack with the Ripjaw Raptors, like the the super easy block is just you know throw the Growth Chamber Guardians in front of each one, but then if he has a Shock or a Lightning Strike, and takes out Domri, then I could just be like chump blocking and letting him draw a bunch of cards. So that would have been it would have honestly been a really tough block. So the. The fact that he played uh, the alpha first helps me, but if it's just one, if it was just one uh, Ripjaw Raptor attacking anyway, we would have just double blocked with Growth Chamber Guardians or something like that. So we've been good. Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. We don't have any more Growth Chamber Guardians to get. We don't really have to worry about that getting shocked. Reggie's. Or no, that's that's Ripjaw. That's not Reggie. That's Rip Rippy? Rip? What's a cute nickname for Ripjaw? Rip J? Jaw? It's another jaw. Ripperoni. See, this is a tough block. I guess. Do I do this? That means I could trade Thorn Lieutenant for Ripjaw Raptor. I'll just block one and take four.
Because Thorn Lieutenant can be really valuable here with having that activated ability. Jeez. I have that card in my deck. Yeah, we had net network issues just a little bit ago. I definitely think Joyv has a lightning strike. So I'm kind of playing around lightning strike by not minusing Domri right now. I don't even know if it, that really is playing around lightning strike, but. But yeah, but then it, it was working again. But yeah, I just we just had like some connectivity issues for a little bit. But it's back working now. I'm all about the party bus right now. Bant version. Love it. All right, nine, nine baller. When do you want me to play that? So Bant party bus. I was gonna. I was actually gonna have Phoenix fight Ripjaw Raptor there. I think that's what I was gonna do. All right. So War Boss is unplayable against Ripjaw. That can come on out. Bring our own Ripjaw. Gosh, I I don't really have anything I want to play. I mean, coils. I guess. Yeah. I guess I just play coils. Yeah, that works. Bronte is a little small. Would I rather have Bronte over any of these other cards? Not really. All right, cool. Yep, I can do it tomorrow. Perfect. I have All right, so Bant Party Bus. This hand looks really nice. Did I save this? I did not. Save this. Of 
question how many tier one decks are there uh this metagame thing on arena can help you or you know kind of helps tell approximately like what percentage the different decks you play you know it's it's a small sample and everything but that's that's approximate No, no turn three Sarkin. Mana creature is getting coiled over here. <laughs> okay. Come on. There you go. They're just sitting there wanting to ugh, wanting to jump up. Tools are for personal. Let's just fight. Wild beasts are bringing your comeuppance. Oh, right. I could have dealt one, one extra point of damage by doing that main, main phase. The reason why I liked doing that second main, though, is because I wanted to see if Joey had, like, a lightning strike that would, would have killed the lieutenant or whatever. You know, so I wanted to kind of get that attack in first and, and just, you know, wait as long as I could, basically. I was raised by wolves. Though, they might have also just been big dogs. I fight with a dragon's rage. Come to me. All right, so we got the dragon to protect our creatures from Registor Alpha. Yeah, to get a rare wild card, it's every six. Every six is a rare wild card, and then every the fourth every fourth cycle you get a mythic. So basically, every once every twenty four packs you get a mythic. What are you What are you doing here? This thing. GG Joy, and my hand was just awesome. It really was. Like the hand, my hand was like basically perfect. Uh, I know, Kurtash. I've just had all my luck today. All my luck today. Like, like, just look at that last hand. Like, it, it couldn't get better. What's, what's Bolt Bend? Did you have Bolt Bend in your deck? All right, if you are a subscriber and you want to, to be the next person to play, type the word battle, whoops, in the chat. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I don't think you have the mana to, to play this. Right? Yeah, I don't, I don't think you ever had four mana available whenever I cast Lava Coil or Domri fought. You didn't have the power for a greater creature. Either. All right, everybody in there? <laughs> All right, looks like everybody's in there. Kick that arse. 
is the winner. All right, kick that arse. Send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag for you to copy paste. And let's spin the wheel. Only well, got about half hour left for the stream tonight. We'll play one or maybe two more matches. So maybe one more match after this. Bant Legends. Because I was thinking, I was thinking like before the stream would be about 20 matches, and this is going to be match number 19 here. Um, all right, so what do we do? So we go over here, Bant Legends. So this is a... There you go. Thank you there, Kick. Why is this thing here? Get, get rid of this thing. No, not don't get rid of my Knight of Autumn. Um... Anyway, so yeah, this is a, a Kamal's Druidic Vow deck. We're trying to vow and put in a whole bunch of sweet Planeswalkers into play. And we got some Fibble Thips in here, too. That's our deck. All right, make sure you're on best of three coin flip. Yeah, Sparky wants to hang out. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Bant Legends. Fibblethip, that's a keep. We got Fibblethip. Can't lose. Double Fibblethip, too. The, the one problem about having two Fibblethips in your hand is that you don't get to Druidic Vow a Fibblethip into play. Thanks, Kratash. Hmm. Should probably play this Gross Spiral here so I can play Raph next turn and then I can flash in Fibblethip. It'll be even better. Okay, or I'm going to get Fibblethip and his Kanta. Both our Raph Capacions. Ooh, Naya. I think uh, I think that Arena is having a positive effect on Paper Magic. Yeah, I think more people are playing. Uh, well, especially standard. You know, like more people are playing standard due to Arena. Well, this can be really bad for me. So, Knight of the Stampede says your dinosaur spells cost two less to cast. So, that's a riot, a two mana, two two riot flying menace. All right. Galta with haste.
That's pretty sweet. Oh, I should just block with the fibble tip. Yeah, because I have to just throw this other one out there. I should have just saved a life. That was like probably my best card I could possibly draw. I look forward to seeing your mistake. I don't know if I have like to deal with nuisance really like other you. removal. Too much for the skull to like I don't know if I can actually get rid of it. Yeah, are you talking about in game two? Oh, kick. Attack with the Sky Terror. In game two, I don't I don't think you could ever bolt bend in game two. We're studying contrasts. I'm excellent, and you're, well, not. In game one, the only thing you could bolt bend would be... Oh, no. Like, the only thing to bolt bends are, like, the lava coils. You can't bolt bend the fighting stuff, because fighting has two targets. Like, when Domri fights, that's two targets. Yeah, we did. We real did. Those Knight of the Stampedes, five mana, casting all those big things. Get, get this thing out off the screen. Sparky, what are you doing? Get out of here. Ooh, Wanderer. Um... Unfortunately, Ruinous Blast doesn't seem like super good here. Maybe I just try to line up on these things. Like Galta, Jassath, like those are legendary. Raph is kind of small. Alright, this is what I'm going with. <laughs> Poor Sparky just wants some friends to play with. So what Bolt Ben does, though, if that's what you're asking, Joy, what what Bolt Ben does is, you know, if you have any spell with a single target, so a discard spell, a removal spell with just one target, um, you can cast your Bolt Bend, and basically, basically, it's like countering the spell and then recasting it with a different target. Basically, you change change the targets for it. So whatever the one target was, you make it a different target. There has to, of course, be another a, another legal target for you to do that. Um, to the library. Let us see if your talent to the library. We need to find Lyra Dawnbringers. Uh, I actually don't know much about Altered Carbon. 
Your aggression is noted. Let me aid your research. Alright, just gonna take the two for one here, especially with Tamio in play, where I can minus and grab back the Urza's Ruinous Blast if need be, and keep them from having haste. I am proud to fight by your side. You are capable of more than you assume. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna try hitting a land here. Very nice. Honor and courage. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Ooh. There was a liar in there too. Alright, so I need to make sure I don't mill out. I think if I do not draw the land the next turn, I'm going to minus Tamio and just grab another victory. land. So we have a, a fifth land for this Druidic Vow. Okay, never mind. We, we did draw a land, though. What, do I have two Tamios in the deck? I guess I need to deal with this Ajani. Um, I'll just wait. So the problem with waiting to activate Tamio though, is I could just hit the uh, hit another Tamio off of this. That's the problem of waiting. I'll, yeah, we'll activate. Let's grab. I'm just grab an Ascanta. That's actually a pretty good one to hit. Because I can just hit two lands with this. And be able to play as Kanta still. Oh. Got an as Kanta. A little Fibblethip coming in, drawing two cards. To light the way, I will. And there was the other Tamio. Yeah, we should be able to attack this Ajani and make keep Ajani from ultimating now. That was really nice hitting three creatures. Will lend you my strength. You just just grabbed Lyra and played played Lyra. Yeah, maybe I should have just played it safe and just grabbed Lyra and played Lyra. Honestly, we have so much, so many lands though. So we have twenty five cards in library. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Druidic Vow for eight. More cards. More cards. Ooh, I want a Teferi, a Glacial Fortress, a Harbor, and this Teferi, and this Dovin. Is the rest go to the graveyard? Alright, so you can bounce this. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. You can tuck this. You need to take a time out. You can put counters on stuff. With me. You can get back uh Druidic Vow. Let's do that again next turn. I have learned much from my ancestors.
<laughs> yeah, do we see Star of Extinction? Um... Star of Extinction, here it is. Uh, no star. All right, game three. We'll just keep this the same. Yeah. Kamal's Juridic Vow is the OG Dreadhorde. Command the Dreadhorde. <laughs> True. Man, this past, like, few days, Hawkeye's re really liked getting up here on the... He liked just get, like, getting up here. And laying down on the desk here. He doesn't usually do this, you know? Like, doesn't usually lay right here. But he has his head basically right where my mouse is, so he's, like... Has his head right where when I move them up, my mouse. Uh, nope, no Mox Ambers. How's the Popper event going for you, Nazim? I think I kind of want to just growth spiral. Honestly. I don't think I really need to, like, as Kanta to, like, look for anything. I have a good amount of lands. I have a good, good spell so far. Um... Yeah, Ascanta won't flip for like basically ever. Like, we don't play a lot of spells in this deck anyway. Ascanta doesn't like really flip very much. So I'm thinking Shalai into Lyra could be nice. Well, we didn't. Um, could we get lucky, draw another land? Wow. <clears throat> now we'll have Lyra. I wouldn't mind finding an Urza's Ruinous Blast, of course, with all of the, like, Urza's Ruinous Blast would exile everything out here right now. It's not a bad card either. That could be useful. If there is a Galta here, we may need that Dovin. We can like Dovin plus Narset the following turn. Or that thing. Yeah, we're going to need to dove in that thing. So it deals seven damage to me, so he gets to look at the top seven. Wow. One dinosaur. Lucky. Wow. Even more lucky. That's just today. I've just been getting lucky today.
All right, so even though I have this, it's still going to trade. Trading Lyra for Jasath. Oh, no, trading July. Oh dang! I think I think Kick wanted to kill Lyra. I'm known for my excellent timing. Here goes nothing. Just the luckiest. Hey, Bant for life. Keep an open mind. I've got it. <laughs> Search for Scanted before surveil was cool. GG's. Yeah, I have been uh, playing like a madman, or drawing like a madman today. Yeah, Van for Life, to get, to get me to play your deck, check out the info panel below. There's a big section about donating. Usually it's $20 to donate for me to play your deck, and you can choose what day you want me to play it and what time slot. I, I stream from 3 to 10 eastern time and i play four decks a stream so you can choose to be first second third or fourth and any day of the week um yeah that deck that i was just playing was uh bant legends it's the name of that deck yeah that's why i usually do the constructed event uh play play until i win five or lose two yep that's what i usually do yep the constructed event there <clears throat> oh, that's true. Blast could have been instant with Teferi. That's a good point. I didn't really even think of that. Yeah, GG's kick. GG's. Almost got me with that Jasath, and then, yeah, you bricked really hard on that Jasath. I, I got really fortunate there. Huh? You bricked on that Jasath. But there we go. That was our sub-battle stream tonight. Had a ton of fun. So thank you, everybody for watching and everything being a part of this uh if you're watching the this later on youtube hope you enjoyed our sub battle stream please hit that like button over there too and thank you so much for watching we'll be doing this again in the future whenever we get enough uh sub goals uh usually do it a, about every two to three weeks we have the sub battle stream usually on saturdays here so there we go. Uh, so yeah, if you're watching it later on YouTube, um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you for another video.